Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate from the Materials Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or with tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. So now let's just get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so the first question just asks, uh, what is the molar mass of calcium hydroxide? Okay, so to answer this question, we need all of the atomic masses of the atoms that are in calcium hydroxide. And you can just find these values on your periodic table. So the molar mass of calcium hydroxide is equal to the molar mass of calcium plus 2 times the molar mass of oxygen plus 2 times the molar mass of hydrogen. Okay, so the molar mass of calcium is 40.08 grams per mole, and the molar mass of oxygen is around 16 grams per mole. And the molar mass of hydrogen is around 1.01. Okay, so if we were to add all these values up, we get a total molar mass of 74 Point zero one grams per mole. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. To calculate the molar mass of a compound, the molar mass of each element of the compound is multiplied to the number of atoms and summed up. The molar mass of each element uh, can be obtained from the periodic table and the number of atoms is indicated by the subscripts. Okay, so they showed calcium, oxygen, and hydrogen's atomic masses. Hence, the molar mass of calcium hydroxide is equal to 40.08 plus 32 plus 2.02, .02, which is equal to 74.10. Yeah, so mine should also be 10. <clears throat> or just around 74 grams per mole. Yep, so the solution is correct.